good morning students uh, today we will see some topics from unit 2 uh, uh, so we are handling subject distributed systems so we know we'll just recall what is distributed system so distributed system is nothing but it's a collection of independent components located on different machines that share messages with each other in order to achieve common goals, right? So we will uh, call it a set of uh, loosely coupled systems, right? So when there is more than one system, definitely there should be some communication, right? So this communication happen with the help of transmitting messages. But um, re receiving messages, that is a good part. But at the same time, order of message receival is very, very important. So that's why message ordering and how exactly group communication happen, that is what concentrated in unit two. So today we'll discuss some points about uh, message ordering. So let's go into the topics. Message ordering. So message ordering means nothing but uh, it's the order of delivering the messages to the intended recipients so that they can uh, done their task effectively. So there is uh, several kind of schemes or mechanisms are there for uh, message ordering. So especially we have first in first out ordering method, then non first in first out ordering method, then casual ordering, then synchronous order. So these four paradigms we will concentrate and we'll see one by one. So let's talk about uh, asynchronous execution. So this asynchronous execution, it is also called as uh, A hyphen execution, or we can call it as A execution. It is nothing but it is an execution where uh, the event uh, happened before uh, for that is that they, they, we are persisting some casualty relation in the partial order. Then we can say that it is an asynchronous uh, uh, execution. Okay, so literally in asynchronous execution, what will happen? Uh, there is no synchronization from the name itself. Like uh, uh, there is no acknowledgement whether when we are sending a message, uh, we don't know whether the message is like, received to the recipient or not. Okay, and even though without knowing that, if you want to continue further with several messages, we can go ahead. So that is what happened in this asynchronous communication. But whereas when we talk about the synchronous communication, it's more or like a handshake uh, kind of relationship. Like when I am sending a message, uh, the receiver may receive the message. After that, he'll send a message back so that I can know that already the message received to the intended recipient. I can send further messages. So that is what happened in the uh, synchronous communication. But in reality, when we are using so many real-time applications, what will happen? Uh, depending on the application or the situation, either we will uh, follow a synchronous communication or synchronous communication because in every application we can't expect the acknowledgement back right so automatically there is several real-time applications are there still we need to go for the asynchronous communication even though it is asynchronous communication definitely we we need to ensure in one way or the other way the message received in a proper way as well as proper order because ordering of message is very very important see when we are sending a text to uh, a person in whatsapp suppose uh, the message order is different what will happen suppose i'm saying that uh, to one person that meet me at 5 pm then after five minutes i'm changing the plan i'm saying that uh, meet me at 3 pm and i'm waiting there and he's he received the message in the wrong order I mean what what will happen that fellow will come at five o'clock, right? So it will create a miscommunication. So ordering of messages and processing the incoming messages in a proper order is a very, very important thing in the success begin the distributed system. Okay. So uh, depending on the application, either we can go for a singleness execution or even we can go for singleness execution. So let's see the rest of the slides. So next one is first in, first out execution. So from the name itself, it is like first in, first out. So whatever message comes first, that will be executed. In a sense, that will be processed first. And after that, the next message will be processed. Okay. And uh, see the diagram so that you can very clearly understand. So there is two process, P1 and P2. So this P1, uh, from P2, there is a message M1 is sending to P1. And from P2, uh, uh, then again, after some times, M2 message is sending uh, uh, to P1, and after some times, we are sending M3 messages. But even though the messages are sent in a different timeline, what will happen? See the first diagram. Um, the recipient of message, the order will be varied in the first uh, first diagram. See that is even though M1 is started uh, uh, processed initially in the previous timestamp, still uh, S2 message only received first. After that only, this S1 message is received, isn't it? So this kind of, so here, uh, it very clearly says that um, uh, depending on uh, the order in which uh, uh, it's receiving, that order it is processing the incoming message. Okay, so whatever order the message comes to me, 
I will process in the same order means that is called FIFO execution. Uh, if it is a non-FIFO execution means no matter which order it is coming, but still uh, depending on the sender uh, direction or I can say that depend from the center point of view what is the order they are sending, the same order I am trying to execute means that is come under non-FIFO execution. Okay, And uh, technically we can say that a FIFO execution is an asynchronous execution in which for all sent Yes, comma R. Here, yes and R uh, indicate that it's an event, that is send event and receive event. Similarly, we have another one, frame event, that is yes prime and R prime, or we can call it as yes does or R does. Both are belongs to a timestamp T, and I can say that this yes and yes does happen at the same time. Similarly, R and R does happen at the same time, and I am assuming that yes casual order yes does means it implies that R casual ordering R does. That is, uh, yes happen before yes does means definitely at the receiver side also or happens before or does. This is the uh, theorem we should remember. So it just indicates that uh, there is two process or a two send event and two receive event. That is yes and yes does. Similarly, or and or does. So both are uh, two different send and receive events. And I say that both the sends happen at the same time. Similarly, receiver side also, both the uh, messages, that is R and R does, both, both are received at the same time. But receiver, how to exactly process this? Uh, I gave one, another one uh, uh, point here, that is, yes, happen before yes does. So in the sender side, actually, uh, as a, a sender, he is sending with the priority that yes, happen before yes does means definitely at the receiver side also, R should happen before R does. We should not rearrange the message. So if, we, if the condition is executed perfectly, then we can say that we ensure that there is a before execution. Okay. So that is what uh, simply we can say that it's a first in first out execution. Okay. Next one is casually ordered execution. So casually ordered execution means nothing but it is an execution, it is an uh, asynchronous execution in which for all yes comma r and yes does comma r does belongs to timestamp t and we say that r and r does happen at the same time then yes happen before yes does means it implies that or happen before or does. More or less it's uh, similar to the previous theorem. But here yes and yes does are not going to happen at the same time. But yes happen before yes does. But at the receiver side what will happen? Uh, both the processes are received at the same time. Or both the messages are received at the same time. Even though both the messages are received at the same time, uh, since uh, uh, during the send, uh, sending process, yes happened before, uh, yes that means definitely when we process the received message, uh, we should process R first, then R does uh, we have to use. Okay, so this is casually ordered execution. Then, uh, <coughs> so when we talk about this casual order execution, <coughs> Uh, send events, yes and yes does are related by casually ordering, not physical time ordering. Uh, their corresponding receive events are in order occur in the same order at all common destinations. Okay, then uh, next one is synchronous execution. So synchronous execution from the name itself, there is a synchronization. Okay, so the communication between where aware of processes uses synchronous send and receive primitives. So there definitely the resulting order is a synchronous one. See, check out the diagram, you can easily understand. So in the first diagram, it is clearly exhibit the asynchronous system. That is, there is no proper synchronization in the sense sender is sending with the before receiving the message by the receive in the receiver side, even though the message is not yet received, another message is started uh, initiated and so many channels, right? So confusion and the ordering of receiving everything is different. But check out the synchronous communication diagram. Everything is crystal clear, right? So I am sending the message with that message is received first. After that only the next messages are actually started sending and uh, that is also received and so on. So this is what happened. So that is, uh, so from the diagram you can easily understand there is a, a indirect or a invisible handshake uh, protocol will be there. So that is synchronous execution. Uh, that's all about the basic uh, message paradigm. For the rest of the topic, we'll see in the upcoming slides. Thank you.